Phyllis, Massachusetts for a special edition of Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour. Class A action between Mike Nardone and Chris Parkinson. Mike Nardone, the visiting bowler, will be bowling first on lane 19. We're on lane, lanes 19 and 20. Format, 14 points are at stake. As Mike Nardone takes his first ball in on the left side of the two pin. Leaves the one, nine, 10. Connection has been excellent here. It's right on the money, but ball bounced a little right of that nine and the pin a little left. Still facing two at ball three. Like I, like I was saying, format is uh, 14 po points are on the line. We're playing five strings, two points per string, plus four for total pins. As you watch the scoreboard, see Mike now, who's going to bowl five at a time. He's posted eight. He's going to first ball in the second is left for a Kaliri left. Kaliri composed of the four horsemen plus the eight pin. Goes about 20% of the time, and there's one of them. What a spare for Nardone, 18. And a ball through two. It's now in the bonus. Welcome if you just joined us. First ball, the third box. Nardone on the head pin. Good fill, tough lead. That's the two on the left. The 10 in the corner. And he'll be open, the frame will be open. Our Canadian friends would say, he's not open. <laughs> Good 10, 36 through three. Nardone comes in with a 117 ACSD average. Chris Parkinson working on uh, 115, should be a good match. First ball in the fourth, crosses over. Tough split. 6-10 on the right. Seven on the left. The Grafton resident plays the pin. A little too high. He wanted to hit the side of that pin, send it left, hope the ball bounced right. Send it right, and the ball bounced right. But he'll take eight in the fourth. 44. Pro bowlers, average in the uh, three to four marks per game range. So you always want to have two on a side. First and the fifth cross is over. Nice sleeve there. Nine drop to the four pin. The pin comes out into the front of the plate. There's a plate in front of the, of the, there's a little spread there. And he thought he could tip it. He wanted to he wanted to aim on the right side of that pin because it looked like the it looked like the wood would help, but it didn't in that case. It just collapsed forward for a nine and a fifty-three half. And now here's our home bowler, Chris Parkinson. Markson, right to left ball. Knocks out six out of the two pin. One, three, six, and nine. The four horsemen good in the back. Just needs that one, yep. Pretty, com pretty ball there. Spare to start things off. Just to our right. On the fill. Seven is leaning but hangs on. So a seven fill in the first for a 17. Three pieces of wood that may come in here. Nine and 10. Everything goes. He 
the ball slapped the 10 as it went by and it fell down late. 27 and a ball. That was exciting. This one's going to be right for two. The dreaded half Worcester, about a, a five inch miss. Square on the three pin, so 29. Parkinson's second ball in the third. Right in the one two pocket. Five, seven, and 10. Left for the 10. He'll take the eight. And Parkinson with a nominal four pin lead here. Four over his box. Nardone finished three over his box. Two spares to one. The familiar four horsemen right again. Ball registry, 31 miles an hour at the at the point of impact, at the head pin. Parkinson for 10 here. He got it. That was the one that he converted in the first. 47 through four. Looking to take a little lead or a big lead, depending on if he can get a mark. First ball in the fifth now. Blackstone resident, a little full maybe, nothing, mu nothing much wrong with that one. His ball moving nicely right to left. That one was 30 miles an hour. Tough split though. Gave it a bid. That is the 4-6. This for a 10 and a 57 half. That's what he put posts. All right. So now the visiting bowler, Mike Nardone, moves right to lane 20. Tries to post something. If Mark Parkinson will have to meet. For the first two points of the match. As I was beginning to say, uh, John Ahern, back from a recent stroke, is on the lanes for the first time on our right. Making sure that he's good for Wednesday night league here at Millis. Nardone with his second ball, just a little right. One and two remain. He's in the sixth box. First string. That for a nine, 62. Nardone has one spare. Chris Parkinson two in the first half here. Mike filled his with eight. Parkinson with seven and a two on his two spares. That one's more direct. Nardone throws with a reverse spin out of the left side of the Approach, has the five pin. Pin looks like it's adjacent behind, and there's a spare. 72 through seven and a ball. Grafton resident Nardone back right on the head pin, two full. Dreaded Spread Eagle, 76. But he's now six over his box. He has a lot of work to do. Pro average on Spread Eagles is 8.3. Just about the toughest leave you can have for scoring. And that's a six. So 82. Eight. So it's like a, leaving four on the plate there. After knocking down four, it's like getting a couple tens. Off the spare. 
That went a little full, a little collapses two pins on the right side though. Three and one split here. Three, it's the two, four, seven on the left. Trying to send it across. Did send it across, but was just left on the two. Nardone open in the ninth. We'll take 10. 92. It's a mark to force Parkinson to uh, to mark on his half. All right, one, six, and nine. The six is in front of the nine. Here it is. He got it. It just clicked. I think it got squeezed in there. I think Mike was surprised by it. I was a little surprised. One oh two and a ball, though. That was a it was within a fraction of the inch of his, of his target. It, and it got got a good bounce. And another full blow. It's tough, you know. They hitting it too well is not a, not advised. That's a 107. It's 10 under his average, but it but will force Parkinson either to get five tens for a spare for a tie or a, a mark and a decent fill to win. Yep. First two points are on the line here. Chris Parkinson, bottom of the first string. First ball in the sixth, just right. That one came out a little early. This is the post, four horsemen on the left, the post on the right. Hey, got it. Got the post, but uh, the horseman didn't, didn't fall for him. Four horsemen tend to fall around a 36% rate, say 40 on average. And the post at about a 20% rate. That's a fine 10. 67. Six. He needs 40 pins and the head pin drops. He's gonna need a reset. Gives us a chance to look over to the right where John Ahern, a 93 bowler before the stroke, is uh, is post a 43 on his first half. John Ahern is, uh, he said he was he was missing right. Um, his his uh, focus and his, his aiming eye is, is me messed up. That's a little bit like what I experienced. You're, I, I had a stroke a, 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 a year ago. Yep. Yeah. It was a mi minor stroke. We, we were hoping that he's back. Here's Chris Parkinson with his first ball right on the money end. <laughs> I was going to say it was a little thin if there was a problem with it. Evidently not a big problem. A strike in the seventh. First strike of the match between Parkinson and Nardone. Now this is where any kind of uh, fill other than that dreaded spread eagle <laughs> or half Worcester would be uh, is what he's looking for. Here it is. Not bad. It, you know, he got four, but he needs more. He's still in the bonus. Still with three boxes to play. Okay, that's tough. That's tough. That's a five. So match is still very much in. At play here. Uh-oh, chopped that one for a six, so 88 through eight. All right, so now all of a sudden, he needs 19 to tie, 20 to win with two to go. A mark obviously would uh, probably be what he's really thinking about. That one, a crossover from the right. A little thin has the uh, hay bale on the right. It's the three and the five pin out in front. He wants just left of the three pin. 
Okay, so he needs at least two of these. Otherwise, he's forced to mark in the 10. Okay. He's at 97 through 9. Nardone just posted a 107. 10 would tie it. A spare or better to win. Parkinson starts on a five-step approach. Right? Four horsemen and the sleeper in this case. That's the nine pin in the back. Wood is helping on the on the six and ten. Going for that head pin right there. And if it goes, if it goes, oh, if that had got well. It's a re it's a reset. Wait, that's a reset. <laughs> oh no, the, the lane reset with if it had stayed up, then the match would have been tied. If he had made if he'd converted on the 10, but what happened was Ryan's uh, the laser saw the pin had, had moved and, and it thought it had fallen and it reset. So now he has to replay the tenth string. Parkinson now back in the same situation. Right on the oh no! Two full on the head pin. That's the one five. The four horsemen with two talons. I'm sorry, the, the spread eagle with two talons. It's just unbelievably bad break in that case. What a shot that time. Now that puts it right back, right back in the situation before the lane reset. It was not Parkinson who reset. It was the, the, the automatic system. For the tie, no, it's coming back. It's a nine and a 107, 106 lead. I think the reset ended up costing him a point there. It gave him a chance to win though. You know, it, it, it's, you know it's one of the fates of Kim and it's, it's, in, it's in the rules. You have the automatic scoring system and in the, in the, there's, there's a laser pointed at each one of these pins. And the one pin lead, two points go to Mike Nardone. And now we're gonna start the second string. Two and one split off head pin. Nice bid, but Nardone open. Start things off here in the second string. Takes nine. So the the rules say if if Parkinson had hit the reset button, you know, if we were at a uh, at a house that was not automatic and Parkinson hit the, the reset, then that that score would have stood as a nine. He would have lost the match. But that wasn't what happened. What happened was that the automatic pin setter detected, thought that the, the nine pin had fallen down on his good good looking shot. He hit the he hit the head pin, he had the four horsemen plus the nine sleeper in the back. Knocked the horseman down. It, it was late wood action and it, and the and the nine moved but did not fall. And apparently it, it did move off of the uh, away from the laser cider. Parkinson's adjusting the screen, and the and the reset since it, it, since it the, the scoreboard registered a spare, but it wasn't true because the pin was standing. So under the rules, candle pin, you replay the box. It happened to be the tenth box with the points on the line, but uh, so something's going on with the register the, with the scoring system here. My, Mike's uh, nine was not uh, registered on the. I think it's it's expecting you on lane 19, Mike. That's the problem. Yeah, it is. See. Yep. So. Uh, it's it's good. So Mike, just enter a nine on the first box and you'll, you'll play the rest on lane 19 and we'll, we'll, we'll do the switches that way. It doesn't rotate like that, that Chris. 
Welcome, you just joined us. Get, so add, add a box. Um, I'm sorry, this is happening off, off camera for you, but you see, uh, what happened was Mike stayed on lane 20, but uh, the, way that the, the way that the rotation is set up here at Millis, uh, they're expecting him to move back to 19. So, we're, so now the automatic scorekeeper knows that Mike Nardone has begun things with a nine. And his first ball in the second is right here. Comes in left to right on the one two pocket, drops nine. 10 pin in the corner. Wood a little out of play. How about a spare in the second for Nardone? Nardone, who won in a controversial first game, drops nine. Another one, left to right ball, breaking late into the pocket. For the spare on the candy bar, yes. 28 on the bonus through two, 38, and a spare through three. Those nine, do nine drop spares in Candlepin really add up. That one was a tiny bit more full than the, than the last two. And it's a five, six, and ten. No wood. Plays it into the corner like you're supposed to. Actually, there are a couple, couple ways to play that, but the, the ball into the corner sometimes gets, a, gets the pin to bounce back. And cover the five pin in the middle. Anyway, seven on the fill. Put him at 45. And a 10 in the fourth. He's at 55. And another head pin. Nine drop now. Pin is adjacent. Everything was good there on the right side. Three marks, 65 and a ball. Mike Nardone of Grafton, who won the first by one in a low scoring affair, punctuated by controversial lane reset by the AI. AI is going to affect our lives more and more as we move on here in. It, it thinks it knows what it's doing. <laughs> Sorry, we're, yeah, all the time, it, pe people don't people don't keep score very accurately, and they, you know the machines help, except when they don't. <laughs> except when they don't. <laughs> so, now, decent recovery there. Parkinson picks up four on his third ball for nine. Blackstone resident comes in right to left. Across onto the one two pocket. 31 mile an hour at the at the head pin. Two pinner here. Parkinson starts all the way back with his heel on the linoleum at the end of the landing. Hit that one just about right, but a um, fraction too full. Takes 10 in the second. <laughs> Parkinson's first ball in the third. He comes in full. Nice splash on that one. Pins were bouncing left and right. He has a great look at a that's the eight pin in the back. A tee of wood in front. Goodbye. His first spare.
Mike Nardone had three spares and he's working on a fill. Parkinson puts up eight in the bonus. Five and seven, the Heinz catch-up leave. Third ball for a nine for Parkinson, 46. We're wrapping up the top half of the second string, ACST. Class A action. Chris Parkinson, boy, he's finding the center of the center. <laughs> At the end of the first string, he had, he uh, needed a 10 to tie and a oh, spare with a, with a fill of one or better to win. And he, uh, he threw his first ball right down the middle. Uh, Hit the one five. Was able to get a nine out of it. Here he hit. He hit the pin he was aiming for all three times, just like that spare in the first. He's just chopping it through. He's hit it. He's hit it too square, and it's hurting him. You don't. You don't want to discourage him from it. In fact, uh, I've heard that that you know, Tim Matera was talking on his uh, podcast the other day about how they used to put money in a pool, and if you get the 1-5, you get to collect the money to try to encourage players to aim for the middle. Don't try to aim for the side of the pit. It's not a good, it's not usually a good strategy. <laughs> anyway, Parkinson's shaking his head. He knows that, he, he bowled well, but he uh, he's down by 13 plus that ball, five on that field, so it's an 18 pin lead after the first half here in the second. Nardone, good bid at the spare, but uh, 10 pin stands. And this for a 10, nine. John Ahern looking good over on his, uh, his rehab assignment to the right. Threw at 87. Um, here, just join us. Uh, John is back for the first time since having a stroke three weeks ago. One of our Wednesday night bowlers and one of the uh, the senior rookie of the year last year. Brought his average up from 75 all the way to 93 in one year of play. Nardone is open in the seventh. And we'll take eight. So he's 17 over his box. Three to play here in the bottom of the second. Crosses with the left to right ball. Crosses over onto the three pin. One, two on the left in the front. 10 in the corner, wood that may be a factor. What a shot, he bounced the, he bounced the ball. The ball weighs the same as the pin. Two pounds, seven ounces, got it to rebound with his, his spin, especially helped. Ball took out the 10. The pin took out the two, 97 and a ball. Five on the fill there in the ninth. First ball of the ninth. Side saddle, triangle, everything falls but the five. That was a great bid. Um, three, three or four things going on there that almost all went. And nine, one eleven. Through nine complete. Chris Parkinson put up a 52 through five. We'll need 59 plus whatever Mike Nardone gets on this frame.
for the two points in the second straight. Four horsemen plus a sleeper. This is the one Parkinson looked at. The first time he played the 10th string. <laughs> the 10th box in the first string. Nardone, just ahead, Pim. And a 121. Good score for the 117 bowler. He had four spares. Fills of nine, seven, five, and five. Parkinson, though, you'll need three on this back. That's a good way to start as he drops nine. A little extra mustard on that hot dog, 32 miles an hour at the pins. Probably 35 out of his hand. I didn't bring my jugs gun tonight. And oh, open. Just left. Sixty-one after the nine. Parkinson is first season in the ACSD. Mike Nardone, uh, a veteran. So look at this. Parkinson is throws one wide right into the side of the of the six pin. And drops everything but the one, two, and three. Nope. The front triangle, the rear, the rear front triangle. Triangles fall about 45% of the time for pro bowlers. Ten. Ball in the third. Parkinson now needs to mark out or get a double. This is a diamond. The front pin is the three pin. Beautiful shot. Did not connect with the five, though. Two ways that those go. One is full, and one is uh, using the sidewall. 81 through 8. So Parkinson now needs 40 in his next two. Good bid. This is the triangle on the far left, fronted by the four pin. Oh, sorry. That one's gone, though. Still alive. Now, if he puts a strike on this one, fills the strike with 10, he will tie the match, tie the game. Parkinson. Oh, no. Fred Eagle. That's. The difference between a spread eagle and a strike is half an inch. <laughs> Sometimes, depends on the ball. <laughs> yeah. So Parkinson's four fill there on the spare. And a 104. Keeps the match a little closer with that spare, but uh, 121, 104. And a four to nothing lead through the first two for the visiting bowler, Mike Nardone of Grafton. Pulls out a Mohegan Bowl during the in league. So we're now in the third string. And a spare to start things off. Mike Nardone went four in the second and three marks in the first.
That one got away from him, but not bad as nine, nine pins drop. Phil Clough joins us from the behind. Hey, Phil. You must have a match today, too. And a spare in the second, Nardone. 29. He's at 19 after one. 29 and a ball through two. At that time, the uh, two pin wasn't treating quite as well. So six on the fill in the second. Oh, nice bid. But he has his first open box. Still hasn't left the pin standing, however. Starts with two spares and a 10. 45 through three. Bills of nine and six. Okay, Mike connects with the two pin for the third straight time on his first ball. This time. Leaves the head pin in the one three pocket for a beautiful spare. 55 through four plus a ball. And now he corrects himself. This time crosses over onto the one three nine drop to the five pin. Nardone putting up a heck of a side 64 through four. but will not, <laughs> can't connect on the five. It leaves his first pin standing, 73, for the half though. Yeah, I see your ACS t-shirt, Phil. Who are you playing? Oh, Rick Kamrowski. We'll do it here. We'll, we'll, we'll. Okay. May, well, maybe we'll have. We'll, we might be having bonus coverage of uh, ACST B match between the two veteran superstars. I'm warming them up for you. Yeah, I, I, I uh, James Humes. Congratulations. He, I ended up five five thirty eight, and he was uh, six twenty. <laughs> he beat me six twenty to five thirty eight in B, as Chris Parkinson puts up seven in the first. We're talking to Phil Clough, who's uh, bowling after this. Oh, Parkinson reached back and drove that one into the into the left side of the pocket. Nine drop to the nine pin. And there it is. Spare in the second. Uh-oh. So one on the fill. 18. Or no, two on the fill there. 19. Right back, good recovery shot, but he's gonna be open in the third. Five, seven, and 10 remain. Wood probably connecting on the, on the left. He does, nice job picking up two of those. For a nine, 28 in the third. Yeah, James Humes, great, great job this week. Parkinson pulls in left for the Kaliri. Yeah. Well, Clough pulls out of bogey lanes in East Brookfield, but uh, he's in the division. You know, his, his division is now playing against the ACST and the B. Parkinson just misses. 
<laughs> including duck pins, including duck pins, yes. <laughs> That'll be 10 for Parkinson in the fourth. All right, Parkinson, two in front of the triangle here. One, the one and the three on the front. And the five in the back, and they all go down. What a thing of beauty that was, 48. Two spares. Mike Nardone started with three spares. Was open in the fifth. After the nine drop. All right, this one a little bit thin on the one, two, or say one, three pocket. Three pieces of wood out in front of the seven and the eight in the back there. Let's see if you can move them. Nope. Everything was on the wrong, <laughs> on the right side of that eight pin. He'll try to connect with a couple of these. Let's see. How about three? There it was. The double would move the ball over for a 10. That was a beautiful 10. But he's shaking his head because he knows it was there for the, for the spare if he'd gone that way. That was a pretty looking shot. One of the pins bounced back and forth and then back again, but did not touch the five. And as a result, he'll be open in the seventh. He'll take nine. 92. I know big fills in the first. Had an eight with a spare, with a nine fill in the first, a six fill in the second, and then another nine fill on his spare in the fourth. 24 bonus pins off of uh, three spares. He only left one standing, and that's how he got a 73. Now he has scores of nine and 10. But he's open, got, got a good action off of the, um, the two-pin. He's been good when he just misses. Decent lead, so that's a 10 though. 102 through eight. First ball. Nardone throwing 28 miles an hour there. He picked up a little speed. He's been down at around 27 most of the day. And a perfect shot, but the horseman won't fall. He was looking at the four horsemen plus the post left. Drove that one right into the post. That been. And three, two, two good balls, but... Uh, Another 10. That's not going to hurt him, though. He, he's still living off the uh, fat of the land, of the, the 24 pins, bonus pins that he got in the first half. So through nine completes at 112. Going to try to post another score in the 20s or even up to 130 if he makes this spare. Five and nine. For his fourth mark, it's good. 122 through 10 and a ball. Parkinson with two marks and a two fill on his first. He's in the bonus in the, and when he comes back, Nardone crosses over into the head pin. Seven on that one, a 129. He's at 357 through three. Yeah. 
He knows that he knows that could have been a 150, but it was very good. And uh, Parkinson now needs an 81 side to keep pace, but he's in the bonus here. So it's not. So let's call it a uh, 74 side. We'll get him there. His first half is complete at 55. Oh, just right of his object. Mall traveling 31.5 miles an hour as it passed the head pin. That's an eight. 63 through six. Parkinson looking for 66 in four boxes. Nice ball. Nine drop, two to seven. That, those went quick. Seven in the pit. Seven, seven pins in the pit. The seven pin stands on the left. Two pieces of wood on the right. And a spare. 73 in the ball. Through seven. The Blackstone resident. The bonus. Thirty-two point four miles an hour. I thought that was coming a little fast, and it swung left for four on the fill, and chops the head pin. He'll be open in the eighth. Seven after that battle. Leading 45 in the next two boxes. Double strike territory. And great bid, but a 95 in the re in the rehab match for John Ahern. 72, 87. 95. He's getting better. He's getting better. Parkinson lays it in divinely. Just, just where you'd want to put it. But everything bounced wrong, and he's still got the 7 and the 8. That'll be 9. All right. Mike Nardone will take the third string. Come on, keep his bid to keep the total close. Even a triple strike would have le left him short, but uh, how about a spare in the tenth? No, no, <laughs> the eyeball, the wood's eye shot the, the wood to the right. The ball did nothing in a nine, a tough half for Chris Parkinson. He was more accurate than that, 102. So we move to the fourth string. 45 pin lead for Nardone. Took the first three games by one. 17 and 27. Ardone open in the first. Ardone coming off a tough 14 to nothing sweep by Dan Gough. Dan Gothier put up a 642 against him in week seven action. Parkinson's last match. As Nardone is open in the second.
against Fernando Garcharna. He had, he had a 5.53 to 5.49, eight to six win. Ardone open with a pair of nines so far through two. Just right again. So Nardone sets up about eight, about 14 feet away. Brings the ball in. He starts right of the head pin. Has a four step approach with a little pro step in the middle. So th three nines through two. So four step bowler, who's a righty, will start with his right foot first. Then either takes a short step or, a, or starts well back. Gets decent momentum going up there, but then he lays it down with his hand turned inward. He'll be open in the fourth. Kind of leans to the right as he releases. His head stays straight. Four straight nines. And he's... Breathing a little heavily, wondering what's happening. There it is. When you're trying to figure things out and you finally figure them out and you get a leave like that, it can be really tough. <laughs> so will have an open side here. You're going to try to graze that piece in the front. But he takes eight, so four. Four nines and a four. Come on in, the water's warm. <laughs> he, he sits down. He tells Chris, come on in, the water's warm. Parkinson. Trailed by 45 in the match going into this fourth string. He's not, he's not the We'd love to put up a nice 130 game and challenge for the total. How about that? Spare in the first. The, that was the one, six, and ten with great wood. First mark here in the fourth string. Parkinson. 31 miles an hour on the left side of the head pin. That's a diamond. Six fill. Diamond is fronted by the three pin. Those go at about a 27% rate for pros. Real tough. Things like that happen. Even if you hit, hit the object, carrying the, the sleeper in the back, either off the wall or... Uh, All right, so four horsemen left now for Parkinson. One, two, four, seven. Wood may factor. On the money. Boy, that, uh, what I saw, the two and the four just to the right of the, of the seven pin as they were going back fast into the curtain. But he's open, nine, nine in the third, 34 through three. Nardone is six under his box, leaving the gate open. The water is warm, as he said. All right, here's a physics problem for you. 
Parkinson takes a step up to the front of the line and see how things are going to bounce there. Se the seven and the eight in the far back. Wood maybe adjacent to the eight, and then there's one piece out, out in front, and another to the side. Goes in and beautiful spare. That was a no doubt. He got the he got the pin to jump up over and take out both the seven and the eight at the same time. 44 through four. He's now tied Nardone, but he's got a fill and a frame and a frame to uh, build a lead. Comes in fold, but with a ball dashing right to left. Nine drop in the bonus, 53. And that's just wide. He's set up in the middle, pointed to the right. Nope. Toughest ball, the toughest uh, pickup for a single pin for a right-handed bowler who throws a right-to-left ball. Anyway, 60, 62 half through five. And Rick Kamrowski has joined us at the counter. Get ready for his match in the Bs next. Mike Nardone, first ball in the six. He was open. Comes in on the two pin seven drop to a. Yes, they are. Yeah, one, he's a 117, 115 right now. Nardone for the spare. Connects, but. The two pin bounces harmlessly around the six pin, and he's open with another nine. 53 in the sixth. Eighteen pin lead in the first half for Chris Parkinson. And we'll be seeing a reset. You gonna be here? Can I film it? <laughs> yeah. All right, it'll be a double feature then. We'll have a B match coming next. <laughs> Mike Nardone, first ball in the seventh. In on the left side, good action in the back though. Two pinner in front. Main. And he's back. A lot, same ball that he used last time, but the he didn't have to clear the six pin this time. And he makes his first spare in the fourth string. Nordo full and five. Greeted with a spread eagle with the left tail clipped. And a little piece of wood on the right side. Anyway, that's a five fill. I should have yeah, marked there, but it's 68. Four pins to work on with the third ball here in the eighth box. Good nine. Seventy-seven through eight. He's one more mark. The next two. Get over the century mark. Takes a trip down route 28. Looking at Medford, McGrath Highway maybe. Not a lot of pins there. Found the head pin, but it was thin. So uh, it's a big out. Good ball. Eight in the ninth. 85. Eighty-five through nine, the classic league bowlers situation. Oh no. Nothing wrong with that first ball, except for the leave afterwards. 
Five and nine on the right. Wood to help. If he hits the left side of the five, it's probably done. Middle of the five will work. Uh, not the middle, maybe. He needs the, le need the left side or the right side, I should have said. Because <laughs> nothing, nothing moved to the left after that. And a 10, a 95. All right. Parkinson going to chew away at the lead. Probably, well, he'll probably be able to get the 33 necessary to tie the, to, to tie the fourth string. But he, he's really working on that match score, which is uh, 45. He trailed by 45 after the first three. Seven drop on his first. Fair in the sixth. Parkinson lost the first six, but can still win the match, especially if he picks up, uh, it'd be nice to pick up 30 or more here. Oh. After the spare, yeah, it was a, those are a challenge. Six on the field, 78 through six. And what a shot! Parkinson clears the middle triangle, uses the wall. The five pin bounced high off the wall into the seven pin on its way back to knocking down the eight. And the spare is good, 88 and a ball. Through seven. And how about nine more on top of that? 97 in the seven through seven complete. Four spares and oh, that one got away. Parkinson has one. String four, that was not in doubt. A 10 in the eighth, he's at 107. Right, that's the uh, Dave Chester Cove, <laughs> four and two. The leave that he hates, <laughs> anyway. Chester Cove was here earlier watching his daughter bowl. You gotta play it like a half Worcester. It's more likely to go, it seems, if you go on the inside of the gap. Um, but either way, on the head pin, if you wanna convert it, Parkinson finds the head pin on the third third ball, but takes seven, 114 through nine. Watch that uh, total score now. Lead is 26 on the match. With one more to play, drops a strike on the final, and the 10 pin was the last to fall. Parkinson threw that one extra mustard, 32.4 miles an hour when it hit the head pin. 124. And this is his 11th rack. Looking for, can't find the head pin, but uh, those bonus pins are racking up. And another, Throw a spare on top of that in the 11th box. A 134. And the lead is now down to six as Parkinson wins 134 to 95 in the fourth. That's a, a 39 pin victory. So the whole match is on the line here in the final. Mike Nardone's first ball in the on the head pin. Triangle on the left. Wood out in front of the four pin. Left and he'll be open to start things here in the fifth.
10 in the first. For the Mohican bowler. Cross is in full. His ball starts on the left side of the head pin and comes in from the, comes in left to right about three inches on a typical throw. Sometimes it crosses all the way over. That time he took out the two pins for the, for the third ball. Wasn't aiming for the front. 19 through two. That one crossed over a uh, whisker too far. This is a Kaliri. Still the one and nine remaining for a score of 10 in the third. How about a nine? 28 through three. This one is close now. Mike Nardone in the top of the fifth with a six pin lead in the total. He's won the, he won the first three games, so he's got six, six points to his name automatically. But if Chris Parkinson can win by seven or more, he would win the day as Nardone makes a spare in the fourth on the two pinner left. 38. Nine in the fill. Three or four pieces of wood out there. And a spare to sit down in it with 57 in a ball. Nardone's world was looking really bleak there for a second. But he found himself. He found himself. <laughs> Parkinson missing a ball, um, but still has three to work with. His first ball here in the fifth. All right, not bad. Little right of his object, but it, good action. Three pinner with the one, two, four. A triple, you'd say. Nope. Just got to shift that all over a little bit left, and you'll be great. That was for 10. Seven out of the uh, left side of the head pin now. It was six. That's a beauty. Parkinson vaporizes the one three. Nope, that's a lemon drop. And it followed by a full, full shot on the head pin.
So 28, or I'm sorry, 29 now through three. Parkinson will get back. We'll need, a, need to convert on a Kaleri with a little wood to help. Left with a triangle. It's the one, seven, and nine. Four, ten. And that'll be eight in the fourth, so 47. How about that? There, you go. there it is, <laughs> the right side falls. The, both the eight and the 10 fell late. That should, that should read 37 through four. It's for a spare on the money. So he'll sit down 47 and a ball, 10 pins down in the game and 16 pound down in the match. Two spares with a, fill, with a one fill and one coming up. Parkinson, Nardone. Filled his spare in the fourth with a nine drop and then converted and now is in the bonus here. A little bit full six on that one. So his first half score is 63. Up against Parkinson's 47 and a ball. Look at that. Oh boy. Right where you'd put it with a left to right ball. That was the four, seven, nine, and ten, I think, and his third spare in a row. How about eight on the fill, but a brutal four, ten left my, to keep that string going. So it's 81. Ah. Double wood in front of the 10 and uh, got it to spin and bounce, but didn't do any damage. All right, eight in the seventh. He's at 89. And so with three boxes to play, he's 19 over. Leading the match by Six coming in, 16 through completed frames. Four horsemen for the spare, a little thin. Nardone will be open in the eighth. He's got three splits on this side. His third, his second 10 of the of the uh, fifth string. 99 through eight. And a post to score, Chris Parkinson has to beat by set six or more to win the match. Whoa! Tough leave off of that. Woolworth special, five and dime. All right, gave it a look. It's not, not impossible. We don't have enough, enough uh, of a sample to tell you exactly what the odds are. It's probably in this 5% range. Nardone takes nine, 108 through nine complete. And he's open. Right now he's, up by 61 in the game. Parkinson's only only finished four boxes. Nardone punches out three on the left. He's got a chance. No sidewall action there. 
So he'll be open. He's at 114 right now with these four pins standing. His third ball will take two more. How about a 116 for Mike Nardone? That is a 568. Good, a good, good match, but with the 95 is, is what he's thinking. Parkinson full and well, the, yeah, no reward except for the wood. He's got, got the eagle wing left and the triangle right. He's going to play it at the ribbon. And nine of them are down. Yeah, he, he was on the uh, he was on the two pin there and might have might have been a little better off with the wood jumping jumping off the ribbon. Good ten. Anyway, that was a uh, four fill for Parkinson in a fifty one half. With the ten, he's at sixty one. Eight, eight down, three six remain. The two pinner. No, just right. Just needing fifty five for the game, sixty one for the total. Ten there. So through seven complete, he needs 45 to tie the game, 51 for the match. Nine drop, down to the six pin. And that's good for his third spare here in the fifth string. Oh boy, all right, six on the fill there. The difference, difference here is in fills in this, in this uh, fifth and final. How about that? Oh no, he needed it to be thin like that, I think, to get the bounce. He got the bounce to take out the 10, the ten but it wouldn't come over onto the three pin. So that's a 10. He's at 97. So Nardone had three spares. Parkinson also has three spares, but difference is in the fills. One, four, and six. Parkinson ended up both of them with great balls that turn into a 5 10 leave. The Woolworth special, I called it before. He's got to make this. And get a big fill. He's got to make it. No, that's going to do it. And that 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 will that will give Nardone the fifth string and a twelve to two victory. It was that close to being eight to six. He'll take nine and a one oh six in the final. Tough breaks. So the tallies are official. What you see on your screen has been confirmed. A fi final is 568 to 552, a 16 pin match lead, but a four to, four to one on games and a t and 12 match points for Mike Nardone. We're gonna be back in just a minute with uh, Phil Clough and uh, Rick Kamrowski here on Lane's 19 and 20. But for now, I'm going to sign off. Thanks, everybody, for watching.